Friends, we now enter into our children's moment for today. And um, I forgot to mention this at the beginning, but today is um, technically, according to the church calendar, sort of a holy day uh, in the church. Uh, it's called the, the um, kind of snobbish church word for it <laughs> is Gaudete Sunday. Gaudete is Latin for joy. Today is the Sunday of joy. And you may have heard joy in our first reading today from Zephaniah, where he says, like, rejoice because God is here with us. And then we got to the New Testament reading, and you may have been like, I, what? I don't see any joy in this at all, <laughs> right? But John, in our reading, invites people to change their ways away from being like kind of selfish and towards something different. Did you notice like when people asked him, what should we do now? And what does John say? He says, if you have more than what you need, share with people who don't. If you have like a coat and you don't need another one and your coat's just like been hanging in your closet for like ever and you're like, haven't been using it, maybe it's time to give your coat to somebody who might need it. And if you have extra food, maybe we can find ways to like share our food with people who might be in need. John here is trying to tell us something really important, that our own salvation depends on the salvation of others, depends on how we live our lives with one another. So I thought in our children's moment today that we might be able to brainstorm some ideas, some ways that we might be able to share what we have with others. Now, some of us, especially those of us who are younger uh, children may not have like a whole lot to share with others. But what are some of the ways that our elementary school students might be able to share what they have with someone else? Maybe, maybe it's sharing a smile with a fellow student who is struggling. Maybe it's uh, saying hi or giving a high five to someone. Maybe it's helping someone who's been bullied or at least saying hello to them. Maybe it's somebody you see struggling uh, in some other aspect in school and just trying to give them some kind of support. Those are ways that we can live out what John is inviting us to do with one another, whether we have an extra coat or extra food or we don't. There's always something that we have that we can share, whether it's a smile, a high five, some words of encouragement. I think that's what John is trying to invite us to envision some creativity of how we can do that in our lives together. So uh, if you have creative ideas for how we can, how we can do that, I um, invite you to put those in the chat section and uh, we will continue our worship of God after we pray for the children, all of us who are children of God. So friends, let us pray. Gracious God, we give thanks for all of your children for everyone who is here and for everyone who is not here. Help us to pattern our lives after you and your love, that we may live into relationships of mutual love and giving and receiving as you have loved us. In your name we pray. Amen.